Hi and welcome. Today we're going to draw and paint a traditional style peony. Many of you have been asking for more videos on the actual sketching process. And today I will be doing the sketching using regular pen and paper instead of my trusted iPad. I'm also very excited that this is the first video I'm shooting in my new studio. I have a few things left to do before it gets 100% done, but I will be doing a video in the future showing you the studio and the setup for those of you who are interested. So let's get going. I had a flash walking day coming up at the shop and while painting some of the designs that would be up for choosing, I thought why not record one for you to see. Whether I'm using an iPad or sketching directly onto a piece of paper, I always go the route of starting with a light color, adding more layers on top using darker colors to make the sketch emerge. When sketching on paper, I found that Prismacolor pencils are great as they handle layering very well. Of course, you can use any softcore color pencils that you might find at your local art supply, but if you want to get the Prismacolor pencils I'm using, I have a list on my website showing you all of the materials I'm using daily. You'll find the link in the description below. When starting a new sketch, always remember to begin very rough with simple shapes like boxes and circles. This way you can lay out the design and its elements without distracting you with the details. I can't stress this enough, going deep into the details early in your sketching process before everything is laid out can prevent you from seeing the big picture. Peonies are not the most common flower among traditional tattoo designs, but they're very popular in Japanese style. I started drawing them more and more recently and here you see my version of a traditional style peony. It'll be bold and distinct, so you can clearly see what it is from a mile away. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm still using markers for my line work because of the incredible speed at which I can work. I wonder if and when I will go back to using nibs again. I do miss the feeling though. The tip of a uni super ink marker, the same you see me use here, is very fragile and using it the wrong way the tip will get used up pretty quickly. But if you drag the tip in the same direction all the time, this will cause the tip to get a flat spot and work just like a nib. I've noticed that my markers hold up longer, giving me sharper lines. If you've heard of the terms walk-ins or drop-ins, you would probably know that it's when a client shows up to the shop without having an appointment, asking for a tattoo on the spot. Some shops don't do walk-ins, while others hardly have any pre-booked appointments at all. At my shop, we arrange a day per year where we only do walk-ins. A client gets to choose pre-drawn designs from our flash throughout the day, and we call it the flash riot. 
Flash Riot is a very popular event for those who love to be spontaneous and do not want to wait for an appointment. If you want to learn the basics of spit shading, check out my video on how to get going. If you ever have any questions, send me a DM on Instagram at Sober Joe Collective. In a previous video, I talked a bit about a new method for staining my flash. I've been using coffee forever as a stain, but I've had this thing that always bothers me. As I use watercolors, I have to put my stain before any of the colors. So when I spit shade my colors on top of the coffee, it lifts the stain and sometimes gives me these hard edges. This is most notable when doing skin tones. I found a solution to this problem. I'm now staining my flash using acrylics as they get waterproof when dried. This allows me to spit shade the hell out of my flash without ruining the stain. I personally use Burnt Umber from FV, but there are of course other acrylic brands out there that you can use. Just a tiny drop in a bowl of water is enough. Always remember to try it out on a piece of paper before going live on your new flash. I hope you find this tip helpful. If you ever try it out or if you have another method, please leave a comment below as it can help a lot of people.
I hope you find this video helpful or at least a bit enjoyable. If you have any requests of topics you want me to cover in one of these videos, please leave me a comment below or send me a DM over on Instagram at Sober Joe Collective. Until next time, bye.